middle school math teacher looking for some fun activities and ideas on how to celebrate Pi Day, which is March 14th, get it, 314, you are in luck. My name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some awesome ideas on how you can celebrate Pi Day and show you where you can grab some two awesome freebies where um, super fun activities to celebrate Pi Day in your classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that you can check out some of these ideas. Here we go. All right, so let's jump right in to some ideas for you all about how to celebrate Pi Day. The first idea is to read the book Circumference and the Dragon of Pi. I love this book. And if you're a middle school math teacher, your students are probably going to think like, what is this book? It is for little kids, but I promise you it's really fun. There are some really just really awesome illustrations and it just really gets the conversation going um, in regards to Pi. I'm going to go ahead and move myself down here. Next, another idea is for you to have your students memorize the numbers of pi. I love to have my students see who can memorize the most. It's really fun because it gets them just to do something, I think, outside of the box and they get really, really competitive. Next, you can have your students write pi poetry. Personally, I love a haiku, so I like to challenge my students incorporating that math and the writing piece into one where we talk about poetry we talk about different types of poetry i definitely share with them the rules of a haiku and then we write poems haikus all about pi one thing that your students can do especially um, this year if you are teaching virtually is have your students have your students find real life objects that they can find the circumference of around their house, cups, um, cans. In my case, I have a mouse pad that is a circle. So, you know, I will be finding the circumference of this. Anything that your students can find around their home that is circular base or just a circle in general, they can definitely find their circumference, find the area, find the diameter, incorporate all of those things. I normally would do this inside of my classroom, which limits the objects, but since we're teaching virtually right now, Having your students walk around their house, find things that are, you know, that their parents are can approve of that are circular to find circumference, bringing that real life into their into the classroom is so fun. Next, we have create a pie skyline. If you are teaching face to face, you can definitely do this using graph paper. I do this every year with my students, but since this year I am teaching virtually, I'm having my students create a digital pie skyline. Whoops, this should be all black. Let me just go ahead and change that here. So this is just made in Google Sheets and I just made the boxes, you know, squares, and I literally just wrote out pie. And you can do this with as many numbers, you know, uh, to the right of the decimal as you want. I just kind of picked an arbitrary number. And then your students will color in the number of boxes associated with that number. So here are the three, they color in three boxes. One, they color in one box. Four, they color in four boxes, so on and so forth. I added little stars to my skyline. You can have students do whatever they want. You can draw a rainbow, you can draw moon, sun, whatever you want. And this is just fun. It's a fun way to incorporate Pi into the digital classroom. And again, you can do this on, on graph paper and students will color their pie skyline. And their skyline doesn't necessarily have to be black. It's generally just like nighttime, but they can do this in whatever color they want. And then lastly, I would love to encourage you to incorporate some new fun activities. The first activity, if you would like to grab this as a free download, is my pie day coloring sheet. This is a printable um, and students will use radius and diameter to find the circumference. This is the answer key. And then this is the um, coloring page. The second activity, if you would like to grab it, 
is my pixel math activity. Now, if you're wondering what this activity is, I'm just gonna scooch this over. So you can see that it's a blank page right now. Again, it's on Google Sheets. And if you are not using Google, this will definitely still work um, as a, uh, an Excel. So you can download this and um, all you have to do is just uh, import it as a, or download it as an Excel. Okay, so students will find the circumference using the radius given or the diameter given. So in this case, question number one, the diameter is four. So we know that to find the circumference, they would multiply four times pi. And the answer here is going to be 12.6. So look at what happens when I enter, hit enter 12.6. You have all these colors that start showing up. Okay, next, radius. If you have the radius, the circumference is going to be 50.3. More colors start showing up. So let's just say our diameter is 10. Let's just say I get it wrong and I put in 300. See how nothing happens? Okay, so the correct answer would be 314. I'm sorry, that's not the correct answer. 331.4, boom, more colors. You will continue down all the way, and at the very end when you're done, you will end up with this super cute pie image. If you would like to grab this pixel art activity or the, and the coloring page activity, click the button below this video. It, it could be a button or it could be a link, depending on how you're watching this video, and you can grab these two activities absolutely free. I hope that these ideas will be super fun in your classroom because I know that they are super fun in mine. Again, my name is Kathy Martin and I cannot wait to see you next time in our next video. See you soon. Bye.